The Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC, a co coalition of the 18 registered political parties on Friday raised concerns over plots of interim government by unknown persons, saying this would scuttle the nation's democracy. The national chairman of IPAC, Yabaji Sani, told journalists in Abuja that the allegation, if true, was treasonable and a civilian coup. He called on the Department of State Services to name, arrest and prosecute the plotters of the interim government in accordance with the law to serve as a deterrent to others. The DSS had raised the alarm that following the 2023 general elections, some aggrieved persons were planning to destabilize the country by instituting an interim government. The Interparty Advisory Council, IPAC, condemns in strong terms the call and plot to install an interim government in Nigeria. It is a civilian coup, treason, absolutely unconstitutional, undemocratic, and unacceptable. IPAC rejects any attempt to scuttle, subvert, and truncate the nation's emerging democracy by reactionary and retrogressive forces. It is in an attempt to overheat the polity, cause confusion, political upheavals, impasse, and quagmire, as was the case in the infamous annulment of the June 12, 1993 presidential election that necessitated the hasty setup of an interim government by General Ibrahim Babangida, which was headed by Chief Ernest Shonaka in August 1993. Council notes the statement by the Department of State Service, DSS, that it has uncovered a plot by some persons to, violent, to violently disrupt the nation's peace and install an interim government. Council demands that the country's intelligence service should name the plotters, arrest, and prosecute them in accordance with the law of the land to serve as a deterrent to others who would resort to self-help to achieve their selfish political ambition. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.